Hey, thanks for stopping by. Before we get started with today's project, I'd just like to take a few minutes and say thank you so much for all of the likes and subscriptions that we've gotten. We've just passed 6,000 subscribers and I couldn't be happier about that. I really hope you're enjoying the content and I always enjoy your comments and suggestions to the channel. Now, on today's project, I don't know about you, but I don't like to paint anything. Um, just something I don't care to do. And one of the things that I uh, have been able to do is make address signs out of a ceramic tile. Whether you want to make one 12 inches deep by 24 inches long, or you want to go ahead and cut them into certain sp specific shapes, this dark gray ceramic tile, or if you can find black, works really well. Any, any dark ceramic tile will work for this process. But the nice thing about it is you can go ahead and put it on your CO2 laser, do your design, etch it out, it shows up real well, um, and they seem to last. I've had one out in my front yard for about three years now, and I, it looks like the day I took it off the laser. So um, a lot of fun, and they're, and they're fairly inexpensive to go ahead and buy and make. What we'll do is we'll jump into Lightburn, I'll show you the quick layout. We're just going to do a simple uh, layout of an address sign here. And then we'll get it on the laser, we'll get it engraved, and you'll see how nice these look. So let's check it out. Let's go ahead to Lightburn. This is our simple address sign layout. I've, go I've gone ahead and created a uh, black layer outline. This is the actual dimensions of the ceramic tile piece itself. So we got uh, 4.26 inches wide by 12.6875 inches tall. And what I did is I offset uh, that frame a couple of times to create uh, an internal frame that I'm going to engrave. I put in some simple numbers that are easy to read. I've evenly spaced them out. Um, and typically the way I would do that is I would draw a rectangle, like a one inch rectangle, make sure that uh, my numbers, so in this particular case, <clears throat> if we zoom in and I draw a rectangle, I go to move it, zoom out a little bit, I'm going to snap this to the bottom, make sure that's lined up. And then what I would do is that I know that my top number and my bottom number are equally spaced off the uh, actual edge of the tile. I would select all three of these. And the way the distribute tools work, as long as you have the bottom number in place and the top number in place, you can go to your center uh, distribute tools over here and click it and it will automatically align uh, your middle number. But you gotta have your numbers in place top and bottom. If you don't see these uh, alignment tools, that's because they're probably buried in these drop down tools. I don't care to drill down, so what I normally do is I go ahead and open this window and turn on Arrange Long, and it will expand all of those. You do have some duplicates, but uh, that way I don't need to look for those icons. They'll be just uh, uh, evident on my toolbar. And at this point, what I've done is uh, I've got my simple layout done on my address sign. I'm going to go ahead and turn my output to my frame off. And then uh, this is on a uh, Thunder Nova 35100 watt. So I'm going to do this at 600 millimeters per second at 40% power. Um, the other thing that I will tell you is if you preview this to just to see how long it's going to take you to engrave it. Right now, if I engrave this sign on the laser vertically, you can see that it's about 17 minutes worth of engrave time. Compared to if I rotate this, I'm going to just hit the period key to rotate that once it's selected. And let's preview it again and see if it makes a difference. And you notice now that we've shaved off a little bit of time. Now we're at uh, 14 minutes and 46 seconds, so a couple minutes anyway, two and a half minutes maybe. Um, and the reason being is because of the laser with this uh, address sign horizontal, 
this, because the laser head's going back and forth this way, it's doing a lot more work at once with these boundary lines or these frame lines compared to if you had this sign vertically. That's why it's saving you some time compared to if you were doing it this way. It would come, it would engrave this little piece here. And this little piece here, and then it'll go back and it went back and forth. So every time it's moving back and forth, it's engraving a lot less of your design. And that's how uh, you can tell if you can save some time. Typically, uh, regardless of your layout, your majority of your work, uh, if you turn it horizontal, you're going to save some engraving time. It's just an efficiency thing. Your laser is always doing more work going this way and then having to worry, worry about this uh, that way. So it, it, it just play with it because it does make a difference. And in some cases on bigger jobs, it can have a huge impact on whether you're engraving it vertically or horizontally. So anyway, we've got uh, things set up. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this horizontal because that's a much more efficient way to do it. All right, so with our simple sign being done, I'm going to go ahead and send this to the laser. And let's go over to the laser and check it out. I've got my material loaded into the uh, laser. I've got about where I think it should be on the uh, upper origin point, top left. That's just a personal preference of mine. And so now what I'm going to do is use the frame button. And this is why I build a frame with everything that I do. So what I'm going to do, even though the, the black layer is turned off, I'm going to go ahead and frame it to make sure that uh, the piece is sitting square with the, with the gantry. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit frame here and it's going to pick up the outline of this black layer and all I'm looking for is to make sure that when this laser light comes across here that, we've, that, it's, that it's level and it's true. Otherwise with the border on this uh, piece of address sign it, uh, with the border on the perimeter, it, you will see it if it's not lined up correctly. So what I'm going to do is frame it and all I'm looking for is this light to make sure that it's that it's equal spacing from the time it starts till the time it ends and it's not in a different location. And you'll really see it well when it comes along the bottom. It's going to follow this bottom um, pretty nice. And again, you know, when you cut these tiles individually, I snapped uh, this piece of tile off of a bigger piece of tile and uh, sometimes they're not absolutely perfect so just keep that in mind so let's go ahead and i'm going to hit the frame button on light burn or you can do it uh, on your controller and so all i'm looking for is that light to be uniform on the top and the bottom and you can see it follows that edge real nice so i think we're we're uh, we're ready we'll go ahead and uh, shut the lid and get this engraving my air setting for these are usually a low volume air and that way I can keep all the dust that's generated when engraving on the tile instead of all over your laser. Uh, it just keeps your laser cleaner and you're going to have to wipe this tile off anyway. It's going to be, we're at 13 minutes and 32 seconds right now, so that estimate of 1445 was right on the money. Alright, looks like we're done. Let's uh, check it out. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, take it out and blow it off, wipe it off, clean it up. Let's see what she looks like. Okay, got it off the laser, wiped it off, cleaned it up a little bit. As you can see, it's very visible and a little bit darker tile would show up even better. But this uh, slate gray is a, is a great color just because it, it goes with most other colors. But anyway, as you can see, this project would be a fun little project to do. People love it. And uh, give it a try sometime. I hope this information was helpful. If you guys would please like and subscribe, I'd sure appreciate it. Until next time, have a great day.